Hi friends, welcome to my channel Civil Guru 04. If you are aware, this video is just for you because I am going to talk about reverse surveying, which is the most important for any project as a land surveyor. So let's start our video. Before discussion, kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Civil Guru 04 and press the bell icon to get notification about uh, AutoCAD Civil 3D videos. And you can also get land surveying videos. And you can also access me to um, through my Facebook page, Land Developer and Architect Designer, which will help you. In this video, we will talk about uh, to understand the theodolite and uh, to understand the process of determining horizontal angles and vertical angles and determining the coordinates. We are using angle measurements uh, three methods, methods are three units you can see that uh, angle in degree minutes and second second one radian and uh, the third one crat degree crat and radian horizontal angle uh, we measure for the bearings and directions vertical ang angle help us to determine the heights of point and zenith angle in the vertical plane between the vertical directions in the line of sight. You can see here Z1, Z2, these, these are the zenith angle in our plan. I will give you this presentation in the description link. You can download that and read carefully in your free time. It is the theodolite with part list, which is the accuracy can range from one second, uh, one minute to 0 0.1 second. And it's the total station, um, which is also used for the angle measurements and distance. You also know about that these are targets prism with rod and prism with tri -batch. you know tachometric survey for determining contours traversing to establish control point across the site it can be link traverse and polygon traverse polygon traverse is usually called closed loop traverse setting up buildings and other infrastructure we also use here you will get that how to set up your tripod in the field and how you can level your instrument which is the best method for the leveling of any instrument you will see here properly everything in the presentation you will get a video here if you don't know you have not any experience in the field you will get a video here which will explain you that how you can go with any estimate in the field to set up that it is in angular measurements we have three types of angular measurement errors it can be line of sight error you can see here the first one and the second one is the vertical axis tilt and the third one tilting axis error when we have error in 20 seconds it can be 10 mm for the 100 meter so anyone can ask you about errors that uh, 10 seconds how much equal to millimeters you can look here and calculate any others 
digits so we need to measure angle in left face and the right face of the theodolite or you can say also total station you will get here the step that how can we go with step by step and when you have two angle face left and face right you can minus them and get the average angle then divide by two to get average angle here you will get example that how can we make a sheet for the site measurement to write them over there face left and face right reading for vertical angles you can see in the face left we will measure our vertical angle from the 90 and in the face right we will measure from the 270 degree here we have also examples then that how can we go with the face left and face right in a tangles and how can we measure the height polar coordinates and the rectangular coordinates here are the formulas for polar and rectangular coordinates to calculate them we have also example which will test for you as a beginner and at the end it is the most important that how can we solve polygon traverse or you can say closed loop traverse here we have sum of internal angle which is equal to 2 and n is the number of angle and minus 4 multiplied by 90 degree it is the most important question in the interview that what is the formula to sum of internal angle when you have all angle you will get sum of them and it should be equal to 7 zero degree after getting errors in the sum of angles we will calculate our allowable error you will use this formula for that and we have also example here so you can see here that we have station observed angle when you have observed angle we have sum of that divide total angles and then you will get adjustment and plus or minus with observed angle to get correction hope you like this video if you enjoy this video kindly subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get latest notification about my videos thank you god bless you